Good morning. Welcome to Relax and Paint. Today, I'm thinking about Kindness Matters. This is a shirt that we just painted um, recently, and it's just kind of fun to share with you that you can take a stencil if you're not good at lettering, and then put a few of our flowers that we've learned on. This is a flower actually I just recently painted on Relax and Paint. So it's kind of fun. This was just stenciled. Kindness Matters, one of those um, phrases that I think is really nice um, and I need to work on it. <laughs> so that's what I tend to work on through all this holiday season and enjoy that. Um, I want to paint a pretty flower um, arrangement and it's going to be whites, yellows, and grays. And if yellow is not your thing, it could be pinks or it could be lavenders or blues. So um, just remember that as we're doing our shades of yellow, that pick out shades of blue or whatever color that you like. I'm gonna pull out two yellows. I only pulled out yellow ochre so far. And I'm gonna get a bright yellow here. And you'll see better on my palette as I put it. My palette's a foam plate, but you can use my double loader if you're still learning and feeling like um, you want a little bit of help to keep it from getting muddy, okay? So I'm going to take you step-by-step step through this. We're going to paint a pretty um, painting, great for gifts, great for hanging in your house and for a special pot spot in your house. So let's get going. So I'm going to go to my overhead camera and pull it down for us. So here's, here's our color, daffodil yellow, some yellow ochre. These are all multi-surface indoor outdoor paint. Okay, this is medium gray. So you can get floating medium and the big bottles are the small bottles. And the different mediums mean whatever surface you're working with. So if you want fabric, you just load your brush with the regular paint and dip into textile medium often and it'll help you. Um, help you get that to stay into your fabric better. And some worker white. This is my eight ounce baby. I always need that with white. Okay, so we're gonna look at each one of these flowers. That's more like a daisy with whiter petals. And this is the back side of a flower. And this flower is three fingers out, a couple fingers wide. And I'm. it's just a, a larger flower. And those are the ones that I'm gonna put in um, after I decide where I'm putting some in the background, okay? So I'm gonna use a lot of floating medium and some medium gray with even a little white. So I wanna use a 16 flat. Let's get some of that medium, pick up some worth of white and come over here to the medium gray. So this'll go with a lot of houses. But this would be a beautiful greeting card too though. So just think about that. And I'm going to come into the top and I'm just going to come all the way down and just put a few stems that are gonna be in the background. And so I follow down and come across here. This is that pencil. We're gonna to have to restroke that after we paint that flower. Let's see how it's just gonna put some gray, pretty little watercolor looking stems in here. <clears throat> more medium, more gray. And see, this is gonna just be a nice background. So when we put a little darker, um, yellow ochre on here. Then I push this one a little bit harder. Do you see this? I put a heavier stem there. Let's do a little bit heavier stem here. That'll make it look like it's closer to a really light stem from here. But I want this one to be in front. Okay, so that's floating medium, worker wide and medium gray. Okay. <clears throat> so what's gonna happen? I do have some that come across here. What's gonna happen is that I am adding a little bit more medium because I want it like a watercolor effect. 
And I can even put a teeny bit of yellow in here. Okay, so let's go down here. Now what I want you to see is I'm gonna come up here and down. And back down. Okay. All right. So I can come in here and get a little bit more white. So I wiggle up and back, up and back, and then I pull a stem in. So I keep picking up medium so that. I'm going to come in with a few of these little guys or a few stems up here. Okay. All right, so those are at the base. And then when I get up here to the top, I'm gonna to put a few more. That gives you a little, little bit of time to get caught up. Okay. So when we're here, we're going to do a little bit, just little stems. Oh, this would be where the greenery would be, but it's just a watercolor effect in the background. Okay. One of the things that happens here is I can do, have a bud up here and these three little stems that come down here. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit more here. One, two, three. All right, so look at it overall. Okay. All right, so we'll just see a lot of it before I start. <clears throat> Okay, so this flower is gonna be in the back first. So I'm gonna pick up some white and work in some gray, medium gray, wicker white. And then I'm just gonna work in little bits of yellow. And with the gray, it's gonna get muted. With a little bit of medium. And then we're gonna keep coming from right there. So let's come right down here. Okay, so let's take the light yellow colors. It's the same stroke we did for the leaves, but we're coming up and then back down. Up and back down with the medium. Okay, look, we can bring white up here. Now just remember you can use any blues or any pink tones. You can have all greens, all black and white with a little gray.
Okay, so we have a little bit of darker gray up here. I can put a little bit more yellow and white. These got a little dark up there. <clears throat> so look, now let's come in here. Up and back. So we're coming all around in here. And all I'm doing is I take this yellow brush and I'm stroking next to the white. So we come right in here. One, two, three. Okay. So see, it's just got more yellows in there. It's just kind of a nice, I'm gonna wipe that off. And um, I wanna pick up some white and coffee, I mean, white and yellow ochre. And we're gonna come all the way around here. All the way around. I'm still got the 16. We can use a smaller one to do the rest of the center, but okay. Okay. All right. Now <clears throat> I can come up here and do some little bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of white. I can pick up some gray tones too. Okay, those are just buds. It's gonna pull this color, but it's gonna have that yellow ochre color right here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to my three quarter inch flat brush dampen it, lay it on the paper towel. And I'm going to have some white on the edge and mostly some yellow ochre, I mean, medium gray and then white and medium. Okay, floating medium. So I'm going to come out here Let's go gray first, and then I can come and add some white. Let's do that. So a gray is coming out here. So we go off the edge. I also want to make it come out here on the edge. See? Medium. all the way around. See, so I'm laying the brush flat and I'm going all the way around the outside edge. But then now I can streak in here and pick up some white, more pure white. And I can come right in here to see how the white shows. We're going to come in here. We're just going to bring some of this bright white to the inside, which pulls in what's on the outside. Okay. So now I'm just going to put yellow, daffodil yellow, in this whole middle. And on this one, we're gonna come with a smaller brush, like a 12. 
and we're going to pick up daffodil yellow, a little bit of white, and yellow ochre. The white I put on the daffodil edge. Okay, so we're coming in here and just tapping down and pulling it. And when this flower dries, we're going to float around some of the edges here and with gray, medium gray. But right now, it's got to dry first. A little bit more white. Okay, so then I'll float around here and I can come in here with a little bit more white with a smaller brush like I told you earlier. Just bring in some little white. You can use a six or something smaller, but I'm just coming around like that and I can put some gray in the middle. All right, is that looking pretty? Just think this could be a fun little greeting card. And the last flower, and then we can float some colors. The last flower is white with yellow ochre. And it's coming from out here. A little bit of yellow and the yellow ochre. Here we're pulling it from the outside. Okay, so we're pulling it. I can scrub some of this pencil line off. Okay. I'm getting all this yellow in here first. No, so I kind of drew that first, so I just need to get that color in there. Then I can come in here. Let's mix some gray with the yellow ochre. And I'm going to come right here and stroke some of this up. Right in here. That's that gray and yellow ochre mix. I pick up some yellow ochre. See how we get that shading in there. And so I used medium gray and yellow ochre to get the depth. Okay, so I'm going to bring a little bit of white back. See white. Okay, so all I have to do is pick up some white and gray, medium gray and wicker white, and bring the center, the back and front. So I'm just bringing those three flowers. Let's go up so you can see it. This color brings up those colors. The only thing I have to do as this dries, and it's not drying right now, but I'm just going to come in here. I put medium on this angle brush and see the toe points. 
this toe, I'm going to come around here. And I'd like to go for watercolor looks, but I'm not using watercolor. I'm using acrylic. But the floating medium gives me this movement. All right, so I just keep coming in, getting this toe, and make it have a little bit of depth right under the center. Okay, so I can work some of this in so it's not so strong. There we go. Was that fun? Just go back and look at the picture. I think you'll like what it's going to look like. Okay. You can even come along a little bit. Put some dark under here. So that I can pull those the toe a little bit to bring some color in. And then you just sign it. And there we go. Isn't that kind of fun? This is a simple way for you to create something that looks kind of watercolor, any color, remember, is in place of the yellows. Oops. Okay, I'll see you next week, or check me out Friday on practice strokes. I put some really fun things on to learn the last, some lessons to learn the last few weeks under practice strokes, all right? Till next time, let's paint. Mm -hmm.